Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we will discuss how to know what the planets want to tell us, how to know what they want, how to know what they want to change inside us. All right. So these are very important queries which people have sometimes because many times people tell me that they have seen thousand astrology videos, they have read 100 astrology books, they have attended 100 seminars, they have taken uh, astrological knowledge from so many people but yet at the end of the day they have read about Lagna chart, divisional charts, you know, Palasari astrology, Jaimini astrology, KP astrology, what not they have studied. But at the end of the day, they still can't figure out what does a planet want from me, from you, from anybody. <laughs> so today we are going to discuss in short regarding these aspects of astrology which you may not find generally in other places. All right, and I have also not spoken much, so let's start, of course. And yes, as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me or you want to know what the planets are speaking to you or what they want you to do, then you can go down to the description section of my videos down, find the link of my website for booking a reading with me. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So what does it mean uh, when I say what does planets want from us? Well, why will a planet want something from us? Is there something which we have which we can also give to somebody else and to the planets of course? Well, yes, there are so many things we can give to the planets. We only ask this question, what will this planet give me? Have you seen the mentality? Just see all the questions in YouTube. I have sun in first house in Purva Bhadra Padanakshatra. What, what results? What will sun give me? I have moon in 10th house in Barni Nakshatra. What will moon give me? Yes. So the first thing we need to do is we have to change this enjoyer mentality. Every, every, every planet is not just a fancy rubber stamp, you know, it, it will just, dasha comes and, you know, zoop, it will keep throwing you things like the heavens. It doesn't work like that, all right? So, first thing is we have to understand that the planets are simply reflecting our karma. They, they are not just, you know, some, like, sometimes people say, oh, I was in Saturn Mahadasha. 19 years, then now Mercury Mahadasa has come. What will happen? What will Mercury give me? Will Mercury give me those things which Saturn did not give me? Yes? Just sitting and waiting for some miracle to happen. Have you seen people? Oh, my Antardasa has changed. Maybe this happens. You know, maybe that happens. Kya pata? Ye ho jai, wo ho jai. <laughs> so, when we want to understand what planets will give us, we have to understand before that, that we should not wait for something to happen, some miracle to happen in life. We should, we should always be the first to initiate the changes, the positive changes in our life. So sometimes people tell me that, oh, actually, you know, my that planet's last Antardasha in my previous Mahadasha was great. So what I'm doing is, oh, in this Mahadasha also, I'm waiting for that planet's Antardasha to come. Oh, and when is that coming? Just 10 years, you know. And then what do you do these 10 years? Well, just don't do anything. Because anyways, that planet will come and give me, yes. So then why to waste, just, just waste doing anything at all. Just sit and then the planet comes and gives you. Well, no, it doesn't work like that. We should do our duty. If we don't do our duty properly, we will never be able to understand what the planets want. So for example, people have this question, you know, what, 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 does, what does Sun represent? What does Jupiter represent? What does Venus represent? What does Mars represent? Well, we know the Karakatvas. 
for these planets. But still, why do we fail to understand? Because we do not have any experience with the traits of the planet. Yes, we don't. So, for example, it is not possible for any human being to know what Jupiter is just by reading uh, 1000 articles about Jupiter. It is simply not possible. How to know what Jupiter wants? Well, you have to go and surrender in front of a guru, a bona fide authorized guru who can give you the right knowledge in Parampara. And then you have to submissively inquire. Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Tadviddhi pranipatena pari prasnena sevaya upadekchanti te gyanam gyani nastatto darshinaha. Yes, Krishna says this in the Gita. <laughs> you can find it very easily. So, what does this verse mean? Tadviddhi pranipatena pari prasnena sevaya. First, do seva and then you uh, tadviddhi pranipatena. Pranipat means offering obeisances with humility, with surrender. Not with this mood that, oh, Guruji, you told like this, but it's mentioned there like this. Are you wrong or am I wrong? Oh, is it? Oh, I thought maybe it's like this. Huh, some other time. This Guruji doesn't know anything. You see, he doesn't know anything. Have you seen people uh, debating like uh, animals, like dogs with their gurus sometimes? I have seen my dog. These people, I don't know what their future is. <laughs> In fact, sometimes when I see these people, I uh, generally people ask, you know, how are you? So one of my friend was there, there with me. <laughs> so he saw one uh, person coming and uh, debating with one guru. Oh, actually, Guruji, you know, God doesn't exist. You know, God, God, uh, God exists. Then why he's giving me problems? Ah, then the Guruji said, uh, God, Bhagwan, tere father ka nokar hai kya? If he's God, he should give. And after 45 minutes of debate, this person went back. And then while going, he said, hey, Guruji ko kuch nahi aata hai. Guruji doesn't know anything. So my friend, he was... <laughs> My god brother uh, friend, he was watching this and then at the end he started laughing and I asked him, why are you laughing? He said, sometimes when I see these people, I don't feel like asking, how are you? Have you seen? How are you? I am fine. Thank you. You. <laughs> he said, I feel like asking them, why are you? Why are you leaving? Why, why are you breathing? I mean, <laughs> why in the universe do, do you even exist? <laughs> You are debating with your guru. I mean, that that's the worst, worst, worst of all aparads you can do in your spiritual uh, path. So, if somebody's attitude is like that, hmm, there are many videos in YouTube also. There's a person sitting and, you know, one fancy person is, you know, asking some technical, some, some uh, very fancy questions, you know, which, which nobody can actually prove. You know, it's not possible to prove everything, you know using some material uh, calculations but then they will ask these questions so for example one day uh, one person came to me and asked that if you can prove it to me that lord ram existed geographically you prove it to me then i will take the names of lord ram otherwise i would i said i cannot prove it to you it's not possible no nobody can prove that you know ram or krishna or jesus or Muhammad you know existed of, of course you can go to history and you can try to do but you cannot exactly you know prove that yes yes yes, yes krishna was born you know at this year at this time you can't do that it's not possible because everything has their own limitations but then there are people who do all this all right so if this is the way you behave then you, you, you may never learn what Jupiter is. All right. So the same is with Venus. I have seen people are so much obsessed about what will happen. Venus Dasha has come. Seventh Lord has become activated. You will not understand Venus like that. Well, you have to first improve your dealings with the opposite sex. You have to, uh, you have to know where to draw the line. 
Yes, as they say, no, the Lakshman Rekha has to be very clear. If you are crossing boundaries with the opposite sex, always, or even once also, that, that will totally ruin your Venus. So you will never understand what Venus is. All right. So we have to be very responsible and we have to know how to act with the planet, with the Karakatmas of the planet. So for example, sun represents the father, moon represents the mother. We know that. So unless we be the right persons, yes, so regarding Venus especially, because most of the questions in astrology are about marriage and relationships and career finances, of course. So many times, you know, uh, I get these mails where people tell me, oh, I have not found the right person. You know, when I will find the right person? He said, and I tell to these people that, why are you, instead of being concerned about finding the right person, why are you not concerned about being the right person? Should I repeat? Instead of finding the right person, why don't you become the right person? Why don't you be the right person? So that whenever that person comes, you can have a good relationship. But no, I will wait when that perfect person will appear and he will change magically my life. He will change everything, you know, everything will improve. You, know. you are heading for a disaster if you think that God has made anybody like that. All right. So if you if you and your life is a disaster, you will also attract another person who is a who is totally a disaster. Disaster, catastrophe. And then when two disasters meet, what happens? There's a catastrophe, volcano. Have you seen people, men and women fighting like you know, dogs and, and you know, Fighting, 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 fighting. Ye ho gaya, wo ho gaya. This happened, that happened. He said this, she, she said. Ugh. Give me a break. <laughs> so that's the symptom of two unhappy people meeting and making their lives more miserable. All right. So it is true with every planet. So for example, Saturn. Many people ask that what will happen when Saturn Dasha starts? Well, how will you know what happens? Not by astrology. You will know how you are when it comes to matters of discipline. If you are disciplined, you are committed, you have a structure in life, then you know your Saturn Dasha will be good. If you don't, then I don't care where your Saturn is. You can give a million excuses. My Saturn was exalted, but it was retrograde. You will find these people writing such things in comments in youtube videos my saturn was exalted it was in mold record but it was retrograde that retrogression ruined me yes because i read somewhere a retrograde planet behaves as if it is in the opposite sign so that means a saturn who is exalted in libra or retrograde is actually debilitated all right, it doesn't say that it becomes debilitated. It says it behaves as if it is debilitated. But that person will translate it as if it becomes debilitated because he has to find some excuse. Ah, this bloody Saturn in this stupid sign of Aries has ruined me. Yes. And that's why I said in one uh, famous astrology app, they uh, always keep posting these updates. You know, has Saturn ruined you? Has Shani ruined your life? I don't know who, who are the ones who make such apps. Anyways, the point here is we have to become responsible and we have to have a decent level of spiritual uh, goal in our life. Some basic spiritual practices we must have. We must have a good lifestyle. Our schedule should be proper and our lifestyle should be good. Only then, there you will know what the planets want from you. Otherwise, you will, your situation will be like this. Today in YouTube, you will learn about some astrology. Then after two years, I have seen people getting frustrated with two years. Two years, Parashari astrology. Parashari is useless. Doesn't work. Throw it out. Kick it out. Parashari is also useless. Okay. Jaimini works, you know. We'll go to Jaimini. We'll learn about Atma Karaga. We'll learn about Dara Karaga. We'll learn about you know, Ganati Karaga. We'll run about Amatta Karaga. Oh my God. We'll run about Arudha Lagna. We'll run about this Lagna, that Lagna. And then after two years, they are frustrated with Jaimini also because they don't find answers which they are seeking because they don't have that necessary discipline in their life. 
and then they will go to some other fancy form of astrology and then after two years then again they will keep bouncing and then after 10 15 years they will conclude jyotish is such a useless science it doesn't work you know it doesn't give anything all astrologers are false liars and crooks they cannot tell you anything from your host neither could i find nor could any astrologer tell me yes so that that's the predicament of these people so some basic level of spiritual practices we must have so for example many times people say oh mars dasha was bad you know mars was good mars was so so mars was terrible mars was fantastic mars was the was dasha yes many times people say regarding mars and saturn and rahu ketu especially malefics but if you go and check their lifestyle they are you know uh, they are eating meat what is meat basically meat is you are killing somebody and you are eating that that right so then you will find these people they they will you know go and keep giving arguments why eating meat is good you know eating meat gives you more this that this that this that if you eat meat the world will balance this happens that happens you know all the foolish useless baseless arguments they will keep giving and then what happens they go on consuming meat they are going on ruining and ruining and ruin, ruining their mars and then what happens in some life lifetime the suffering that you have given to animals that same suffering comes back to you in this human body and then people end up giving you terrible suffering people end up cheating you people end up lying you lying to you people end up beating you sometimes all right so understand what the planets want and do some spiritual practices for example getting up early in the morning you know doing mantras especially so may, i receive many mails that people say that oh i want to get up early you know but i can't get up well you have to sleep early if you want to get up early you cannot sleep at you know 11 or 11:30 or 12 and you cannot get up at 4 that's not possible you have to sleep by 9:30 9.30, my guru used to say, you know, after 9.30, for anybody aspiring to make this spiritual progress, not some big lofty spiritual goals, you know, even a bit of spiritual pro progress, anybody after 9.30 who is awake, he is committing suicide, my guru used to say, suicide, spiritual suicide. <laughs> All right, so 9.30 lights off, sub band no nonsense then you can get up at 4 4 30 and after that you can start chanting mantras raise your hands if you have chanted mantras in the brahma muhurata what a divine experience <laughs> all right if you have not done it then try it put the alarm at 4 4 30 get up at 4 and then take a bath or 4 30 and take a bath and then start by 5 Put your mobile on flight or switch it off. That goddamn mobile which keeps distracting you always. You know, WhatsApp messages, you know, groups. Nothing doing, nothing in the morning. God is the most important priority in our life. When he is the topmost priority, then our life will function top class, topmost, peak performance. <laughs> But when that becomes our last priority, like I always have this ex, uh, experience when I talk to people about Gita or you know when I distribute Bhagavad Gita's in trains in India or any other place here also sometimes in Germany, the most frequently uh, the most frequent denial which people have is, oh sir Bhagavad Gita time nahi apne paas. The second denial is the answer is oh Gita. Ah, I already have it, sir, in my home. It's in my home. And I'm like, yes, definitely it's in your home. That's why you are here. <laughs> you, are, you are rotting in this filthy, disgusting place because you have just kept your Gita just, you know, uh, in the cupboard somewhere, you know. You have stacked it and it's like, you know, all the dirt is coming from the Gita. That is why you are in a place like this. Otherwise, you won't be here. Maybe you would have been in some other place. All right. So the point is, if we do not have any spiritual uh, goals in our life, then that will be our situation. Every one year, two year, one year, six months, 
jumping like you know so that uh, keeps jumping <laughs> <laughs> keep jumping like frogs, you know. Jaimini astrology, Parashara astrology, Nadi astrology, KP astrology, this astrology, that astrology, this divisional chart, that divisional chart. You will never find any answer, I'm telling you. All right? So just do these two things understand the planets by being responsible in the areas of what they represent, Vikara Katwas. All right? And then do spiritual practices during the day, especially in the morning, and change your lifestyle. If you are eating meat, stop it completely. No arguments, no discussions, no explanations. Stop means stop. Out means out. <laughs> and yes, uh, what to speak of alcohol and other things. That, uh, needless to say, <laughs> some other time. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your patient hearing. And uh, if you want a consultation from me, then please go down to the description section of my videos to find the link to my website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you shall find him.